Well, hi there again, all you crazy modelers. <laughs> I'm back at it again. This is part eight of our Polar Lights Enterprise 350 scale buildup. And what I'm working on today, as you can see, I'm getting ready to take care of the seam on the saucer edge here, and I wanted to show you what I'm starting with. I start off by masking off the top of the saucer so we don't get any uh, filler up on the upper side. We want to keep that nice and clean. And then I've got uh, the window groups here uh, masked off. Uh, just below the seam line there, you can see uh, we're going to be filling the rest of that with putty, so we don't want to get any, that little hole right there I'm not worried about. If I get a little putty in that, I'll just punch that back out. But uh, the windows and everything, I want to keep them nice and clean, and we're going over all the way over here to the uh, impulse deck. So uh, the bottom side I'm not too worried about right now because I'm just going to keep it up here in this area right here, so I don't need to tape all that. When we get ready to spray this with my airbrush when I come back here in a little while, we're going to mask off the bottom so you don't get over spray down there. But uh, I'm going to apply some putty on this now. I'll come back and show you how that's turning out, and then we're going to let it dry for a little while, and then we're going to start sanding it, get it all cleaned up and ready for paint. So I'll be right back with that, guys. Okay, guys, well, I'm back, and I've got this all masked off. You can see that what I did here is lay down some tape around the saucer. I don't have to put much paint on the top here because I kept my sanding all on the sides. And I'm just going to be blending in my paint around the edge here. We're not going to worry about the bottom because we didn't go over. We're just going to kind of spray down at an angle like this. And when I dust my paint on the top, I'm going to stay away from the edge of the tape so I don't leave a line there. There's a couple little spots I have to touch up on the uh, top side of the saucer where I sanded just a little bit on the edge. We'll fix it up right now. So here we go. I've got my paint gun all loaded up. We're all set. I'm going to start off by touching up this little spot right on the top here. You notice I'm spraying away from this tape. Okay, so now we're going to start going around the side of the saucer. Up here, back by the impulse deck. three little lights that are at the very front on the uh, saucer, I've got those actually masked off, so I'm not painting over those. The other windows haven't been filled yet, so I'll come in and fill those with crystal clear after I'm done painting this. So we don't have to worry about painting or masking those off. Looking really good, guys. Turned out nice. A couple spots here to touch up on the top. And again, I'm using the same batch of paint that I painted this with, so it's matching absolutely perfect. You can't even see where I blended it in. And that's it, guys. You can see that uh, I'll kind of zoom in on it for you here a little bit. You can see that our saucer edge looks really nice here in the shot, and our blend on the top looks really good. So I'm going to let this dry for about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to pull my tape. And then what I'll be doing now is uh, coming back and checking everything to make sure it all looks good. And then we're going to start putting our nacelles together. I've got these parts painted. And we're going to have these uh, facade spinners mounted on here today so you get to see that effect. Then we're going to install some of the other detail parts on the nacelles. So I'll be back with that in just a few minutes, guys. We'll see you then. Well, hey there again, everyone. Well, you can see we made some really, really nice progress on the Enterprise model now. And you can see that, first off the bat, we've got our uh, beautiful facades mounted on top. And... Uh, I'm happy to say that everything went perfectly fine on that. I just connected the three wires and tucked the wiring in and uh, glued everything into place and then glued on the uh, 
frosted domes and everything looks nice and you can see they're really working beautiful. Again, this camera does not do these things justice, guys. They really look pretty in person. You can see the one on the left, on the right here in the picture is uh, rotating counterclockwise, and this one over here is rotating clockwise, just like uh, it did on the show. I can't slow them down right now because I don't have the switch connected, but uh, I've got to mount that and the other power switch on the base, and I'll be working on that in the next video. You can see uh, here at the saucer, I'll take you around this, and you can see that where we did our blend there, uh, using that little technique with the tape and the airbrush, spraying away from the edge of that tape so you don't collect a line on that. You can see how perfectly well this blended in, guys. I haven't sanded it. I haven't touched it. And this hasn't been clear coated yet, so it's really going to get smooth once it's all cleared. But you can see you can't tell where I did that at all. And here uh, you can see that our seam turned out really nice and smooth around the edge of the saucer. And I've got to put some uh, crystal clear in those windows yet. They're kind of twinkling at us. Uh, and you guys have seen me do that before with the, uh, the way that I, I inject that in there with my little syringe and then wipe off the excess. You can see that I've started to do some detail here. I've put the little uh, top piece on on the back of the saucer there. And here you can see the uh, impulse deck has been installed. And there's the lens in there with our uh, impulse uh, engine lighting. And you can see that is beautiful, guys. That looks really like real engines going on. I really like that effect. And that's something extra that you get with the Tenet Controls kit. Then here we have the uh, trench inserts installed, the plates, the beautiful uh, end caps here. They're painted really, really nice and clean and uh, everything just worked out perfectly. I'm really happy. Another shot of the shuttle bay here and tomorrow I'll be coming back and adding that uh, uh, plate there at the rear uh, with the approach lights and we'll clean up that arch and install the doors and the uh, overhead light there and the dome. And uh, I should have everything wrapped up. I'm really confident that I'm on target to have this finished up tomorrow night. So here's our some more shots of the side lighting and uh, everything is really really nice. Got to paint the deflector dish housing still and a, a shot of the bottom so it's just perfect and uh, I know John's getting pretty excited I talked to him on the phone today and uh, told him I'd have a video up tonight later this evening so he could see the Bessards and I hope you like what you see there John they're just beautiful and uh, that is a sweet sweet kit for lighting and no noise at all which is really nice and being that they're not motorized they'll last you a really really long time so all right, guys. Well, tomorrow we'll be back, and it'll probably be a wrap on this. I hope to be uh, that'll probably be the finale, and uh, we'll have all the decals and all the other things done to it. And then I'll make an announcement what, about what our next uh, build is going to be on, on the channel. Here we've got something really exciting coming up. I know you guys will like it, and uh, we're going to do a lot of work. We're actually going to be building two models at the same time, Star Trek related, of course. And I think you guys will really be excited when you see it. So we'll be back tomorrow and uh, have a wrap on the Enterprise here. Show you it all finished up and uh, in all our glory. So take care out there, guys. Happy modeling, and we'll catch up with you again tomorrow night.